Tesla is now going to be going to shareholders, asking them to vote again on Elon Musk's multi-billion dollar pay package uh, that they had already granted back in 2018. But a Delaware court had voided that package about three months ago. Join us right now to talk about this on the Squawk News line, former SEC chairman Jake Clayton, also a CNBC contributor. Uh, the appeal is going to happen in parallel. They're going to continue that. But uh, it appears that such a, a vote, if in fact it was to vote in favor of it, Jay, uh, would make any type of appeal moot. What do, what do you make of this, this idea that they're basically going to attach the decision uh, to the proxy and say, hey, uh, we've just, you know, if the judge didn't think we disclosed everything before, we've disclosed everything now. Well, I think um, I think you've captured it uh, exactly right, Andrew. Um, here we go back out to shareholders and we say uh, you have the facts and now you have the benefit of all this hindsight. And if you vote in favor of the same package again, um, it, to me, and I'm, and I'm speaking just very, um, uh, you know, 30,000 foot level, it does um, obviate uh, the need for the appeal. Um, and, and look, a, appeal process, court process um, is fairly messy. And if uh, you go to direct to shareholders and they have all the information, um, that, that seems to be a much more efficient way to deal with this um, if, in fact, shareholders um, want to continue with this pay package. And I, what well, I'll note is, um, you know, this is all part of, uh, I would imagine, retention of Mr. Musk going forward right. as well. And that's the big leverage point in this, which is to say, you know, I think a shareholder has to worry or would, would have to think about whether they should be worried that he's going to you know, focus his attention elsewhere. Having said that, as the judge said, he already owns a huge portion of, of Tesla. Is he incentivized to keep, to keep going, if you will? Well, shareholders made the judgment. Look, look whether shareholders um, knew or did not know of the conflicts um, and what the judge cited was um, lack of process and the like at the time. When shareholders voted on this in 2018, they certainly understood the economics. Yep. Um, it was widely reported. You widely reported. I think it was a, you know, a 25, 30 to one shot that this would pay off. The you know expected value at the What's time the was was two billion dollars. Um, they the shareholders, the sophisticated shareholders, they knew what they were voting. But Jay, so that's the interesting part about this, which is to say, you're right. In two 2018, everyone thought this was a completely shoot for the moon, um, you know, as, as I said at the time, a skin in the game program. But it, it, and that was thought, but the context was different. Everybody was thinking about it prospectively. And they thought, you know what, if magically this actually were to somehow come to be, God bless, you'd be very happy to pay it. However, as you know, there are lots of people that when they get in a position and they can now look back and say, do I need to do I need to pay all 50 billion dollars um, if I could cut that by 10 billion dollars or 20 billion dollars? Would I? And, and I think that's going to be the question today. And, um, you know, they did say, Tesla, this is that there are four of the largest shareholders in the company that want this vote and want to vote in favor of it. But I'm curious how you think shareholders should think about this, even the ones that voted in favor of it the first time. Well, I, I do believe, and I, Andrew, I, I'm not an expert on the terms of this pay package. I do believe that there's a retention element yes. um, if the shares are awarded as, as, um, as planned in 2018. For five years. I mean, that was one of the reasons that I thought the, the program was actually so aligned with shareholders. He has not been granted any of the shares yet. And even if he were to get them today, he would still have to hold them for another five years. So he's with the shareholders for the, for the next five-year ride. So I, I think you're right to, to think about this in both ways. What, what was originally granted, what are the, if you're a shareholder, what are the likelihood that it's going to be reversed on appeal and go back to the same way? And then what's the likelihood that you're going to have to replace it if it's not reversed on appeal with something similar? You know, a rational shareholder may say, hey, let's just vote for this and get on with it. From an SEC perspective, Jay, are there no issues to be looked into? I mean, can, can uh, a company put up for vote a pay package for for work that was done in the past, which is kind of unusual? I mean, how do you think about it? If you were still at the SEC, how would you think about this? Well, look, the SEC um, is a disclosure-based organization. And, and, and the, real, the real question here is, is the disclosure uh, sufficient for people to make an informed voting decision? Um, you know, in this one, of course, the SEC is going to look at it and think about it. But uh, this may be the most uh, disclosed and examined uh, pay package in the history of pay packages. Uh, final thought, Jay, which is there was obviously a, uh, a plaintiff's lawyer that brought this case. And we were, we were talking about the possibility of the plaintiff's lawyer 
could actually become part of a proxy campaign against the approval of this. What would happen to the appeal if, if, if this, in fact, were to uh, be voted and approved? Do you think that if Tesla says they're going to continue with the appeal? Part of that would be because they'd have to probably pay the legal fees for the plaintiff's lawyer, right? Uh, look, let, let's let's separate let's separate that from um, you know the shareholder voting process. It, 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 it's 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 America. Um, wonderful thing about America is we're going to hear all sorts of opinions on whether people should vote yes or no um, uh, with the disclosure. In terms of how the court plays out and whether the plaintiffs. Um, at the end of the day, added value um, for the, the right. Tesla shareholders. That, that will be that will be that question. Did, did this process add value, and, and should they be compensated for it? We got to run. Is it maybe we're playing it down? Uh, I don't know. The Texas piece of this, they're going to move to Texas. That had been sort of telegraphed. Do you think that other companies are going to follow suit? Um, Andrew, corporate governance uh, has been evolving um, for 50 years between the states and between the federal government um, and the like. And, and there, has, there has been competition um, uh, for shareholders and corporations as to where they're going to incorporate. Um, I, do, I do think that Texas, Nevada... Um, others are challenging Delaware. Um, and, and look, our federal system, it's, it's appropriate to have, uh, have competition. Not, and I don't, think, I don't think this is necessarily a race to the bottom.